Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Dazzling Dave and Wolves have signed from AC Milan, Patrick Catroni. So yeah, it's been rumoured for a little while, hasn't it, um, about Patrick. I'm just going to talk obviously mainly about Patrick Catroni, um, a little bit of the outgoings and also a little bit on uh, Ruben Diaz as well. Uh, but let's first of all get main to the to the main point. Patrick Catroni has signed for Wolves from AC Milan for a, on a four-year deal, which is reported to be 16.2 million, uh, with add-ons over the uh, you know on guess on how well he does for Wolves and all that sort of jazz. So he's signed. Um, he is basically been at AC Milan. He's come through all the youth ranks there. He's been at AC Milan for 12 years. He'd gone through all the different youth setups. He's broken into the main AC Milan team. His first season, he was very prolific. He did not so much last year. He's only 21 still, so he's been at AC Milan since he was nine years old. Um, so he's obviously his heart is going to be there. A little bit like Ruben Neves in that respect, in the fact um, that obviously his boyhood club, uh, who he played for, was Porto. It's the same with Patrick, but Ruben, look what he's gone on to achieve with Wolves and how he's developing. Uh, Wolves definitely needed that extra striker didn't they how are you feeling about the signing um he's he's played 90 times actually for ac milan and he's come through all of the youth uh sides for italy he's at the right age i think he's only going to get better um he seems to have a very good work attitude um puts a lot of effort in he's slightly different to what wolves have got and hopefully they can bring it out uh, bring him on let me know what you think about about him um, it's quite an exciting prospect. That brings the main squad up to 17 players now. Uh, the Wolves have got a Nuno obviously wants to get to 18, uh, which is the squad in large with the, supported by the under 23s. Going out today, um, we've got Will Norris. He's gone on a season long loan to Ipswich um, to join up with Paul Lambert. Uh, we obviously will wish him well. He wasn't getting in the thing, he was kind of third choice. And also Rafa Mir um, hasn't really got through in the Wolves setup, was on loan last year in Spain, second division, and he's gone on loan to the, for the season to um, Nottingham Forest with an option to buy, and we wish him well as well. Uh, on to Ruben Diaz. Um, so there's been lots of speculation about Ruben. And I'm going to talk about this because one of my contacts, um, one of my, I have a little bit of a source in respect to uh, Ben Fika, and his name's Jose. If you watch back on the Rafa, uh, on the um, Jimenez stuff, he actually announced uh, on my channel when I was a little bit reserved that the deal had been done. He'd had a phone call to someone very high up in the Ben Fika organisation, and um, they. He got everything right and then Wolves announced it about three days later. So he is in the know, I'm pretty confident. I've been talking to him um, about the Room and Diaz situation. He's adamant to me that Benfica are not going to sell him to Wolves. It's not going to happen at this point in time. He's heard nothing. All he's been getting from his inquiries is it's 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 not happening. That doesn't mean to say it won't happen because things can change very fast in the uh, the transfer deadline. But it has been reported that he's a main target. Every time I've asked him about it, he's got no chance of it happening. So, sorry, uh, don't shoot the messenger. This is just the information that I'm getting. And um, as I say, things can change. Uh, but if I do get any news and he is anything, he will let me know, and I'll try and bring it to you on this channel. So make sure you subscribe, hit the notifications. If you enjoy my videos, please smash a like and feel free to share. Um, so on to the main thing. I'll put a Twitter poll out uh, tonight about uh, Patrick Catroni's signing. Uh, this is what it is at the moment and how you're feeling about that. Obviously, it seems that, over, again, over 90% are very happy with the signing. It seems to be a very good deal in terms of the price for a striker these days. OK, he's still young, got a lot to prove, but hopefully he will be able to give us more options alongside Jota, 
Rail, Jimenez and obviously Patrick Catroni now. We've got more options up front, which is good. If someone was to get injured, OK, we've also got Morgan gibbs White has stepped in there. We've got Niall Ennis, uh, Bright Enabakari. Um, he's in and around the Wolves setup still. And so there is options, obviously, but to have a main striker like that, who's a little bit different, I think is a really good signing. Leave your thoughts below if you think it's a really good deal. Just put your thumbs up if you don't want to make any comments um, in the comments. Um, or leave an emoji or whatever you want to do but yeah so yeah stick around um, please as I say hit the bell if you've subscribed or you're new around here because you will get first and notified and leave your comments below also made their second signing of the summer transfer in window um, and it is Patrick Catroni from AC Milan and in the last week just think about this we've made a loan signing from Real Madrid and a permanent signing from AC Milan who would have thought that just two years ago? Crazy, in it? Always wolves.